All right. Sorry for being 30 minutes uh, late. Uh, apparently, I worked an extra hour at work, and I didn't realize. It's weird. Like, I was like, I thought the whole time I was like, oh, I'm barely going to barely gonna have enough hours to complete today. Nope, I worked an extra hour accidentally. Well, which is good, because I did, you know, take the day off for uh, the 4th of July. So I'll be able to work off the extra hours, which will be nice. Also, quick heads up, there's a chance I might need to just suddenly drop the stream and leave because apparently there's a guy nearby me who's selling a really nice 3D printer for only a hundred bucks. So, and usually the one I'm looking at is like, usually like, you know, I'm getting it used, but like brand new, it's like 450 And like you can, for a hundred dollars, you can buy like an Ender 3. So the fact I'm getting an Ender 5 Pro for $100 is pretty nice. Right, so let's get over to... Uh, Reboot software without using a Luna. Holy cow. That's impressive. All right. Um, let's see. What kind of music goes well with modeling? No copyright. I think this one. Ooh, suspenseful. Alright. So, we are continuing the modeling for the Apothecary Dreadnought. Um, I, have the, I haven't, like, worked on him in months. So, I'm kind of... It's going gonna, it's gonna to take me some time to figure out exactly where all my files and settings are. So, I think this is all... Okay, so those are all the... Pre I don't know what they're called. The... Uh, profile settings oh yeah i think last time we worked on we were, oh yeah we're working on the ankle and i forgot how to zoom in blender has this really stupid thing where you can't zoom in to a certain point but it changes because like there's times i can zoom straight up to that dial and there's other times where it's just like this is as close as i can zoom in yeah i think it's maybe like Click on object, go into edit mode, and nope. Uh, I have to research this. Blender can't zoom in anymore. Okay. <clears throat> I often find that the zoom in into a point but cannot zoom in anymore, even when there is a lot of room to zoom into. In the following scenarios, I have no idea. Blender's 3D navigation uses a central point to orbit around. In practice, this is good for modeling an object which you can rotate about a lot to see from all sides. Auto wheel. However, this makes it awkward to explore scenes of models and objects from the inside, or example. There are some ways you can use Blender without using read on. Can't they just say use this button? How come there's no, there's never a tutorial or a guide from like an official source that just say push this button? Specifically in Blender, they have that problem. Location, the point of the interest of orbit when loading the viewpoint set around the screen. Zoom distance between. It's literally giving me the definitions of how the how the zoom in works. When all I googled was how do I zoom in more? Essentially, it's the solutions. There's like three paragraphs before you get to the solutions. Holy cow! Okay, early on using Wednesday was quite annoying. Limitations. Um, to set a new viewpoint center, a common way is to select the object and press the numpad. Okay, so. Now that didn't seem to work. Oh, oops. That doesn't do it either. Early on using Blender is annoyed. Okay, common way is to select an object and press numpad. But what if there are no objects? Oh, I just... Okay. So that's a solution. Okay. Let me reset... Uh, set... What was, what was set 3D cursor to origin? Geometry to origin. Origin to 3D cursor.
Is it? Shift F. Oh, I'm Shift F. Well, that doesn't work anymore. Yay, Blender. I mean, it's a free software that's pretty powerful, but like, still, some of this layout is just not good. Be in edit mode. Yeah, that 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 function worked once. Okay, there we go. Well, that's not exactly ideal. See, there's probably like a snap option, right? Invert, select type, select random. Models, grounded, linked. Oh, select grouped. Okay, select linked. Snap. Cursor to selected. Nope, that didn't work. Object. Oh, duh, because this wasn't selected. Object, snap, cursor to selected. There we go. Now it's right proper in the crotch section. All right, so let's continue working on... So if I click this, and I... There we go. Okay, that's nice. I, I do want to... Why do they... Explanations. But why can't you zoom in more by default? What is it? There's like 12 different zoom options here. Control, shift, plus middle mouse, shift, F, W, S, N, D card key cards w a s d keys for moving around auto depth board zoomer sent border zoom center the view around the mouse cursor alt middle mouse center the view around the 3d cursor mm diff n degrees of freedom also known as the 3d mouse hardware you can use to navigate auto depth Let's see people seem to be talking about auto depth in the comments what does it do Auto depth, presence navigation, useful in combination with zoom to mouse position. Using these will make sure the distance is always the value under the mouse cursor. This means you have to consider where you click when moving the view, but you can also be very handy since it will if you work in large scenes. Ooh, that's nice. Okay, like a game level, for example, and want to move around a lot. You can try these options. Oh, it doesn't even tell you how to activate it. Like, it gives you a whole nother demo link. All right. Let's see. So the cylinder actually looks smaller than it should be. Oh, sorry, and I'm gonna get like a bu up. Oh, go away. There's gonna be a lot of emotions because my numpad is how I control that. So I'm gonna have to like double tap everything. Let's see, uh, zero. There we go. Let's see. So there we go. I guess we're doing this in made form. You know what's funny? I made this for when I got affiliate, and then a year passed, and I was like, eh, I don't care too much anymore. It'll, it'll get there eventually. So definitely it needs to be thicker. Let's see, uh, let's actually... Scale in the, uh, okay, nope. Scale in the, that, and, nope, nope. Wait, can I? Oh, that's, okay, that's nice. Okay, so I need to scale it. Not, not it's Z, I need it's X, and it's Y. Why is it, why does Y select the Z? Like, yeah, okay, and then X. It's okay, so if I select two of them, it selects the Z automatically for some reason. Okay, so X, control Y, shift Y. What is that even supposed to accomplish? What if I offset it? Okay. So, thicker. There we go. Wireframe. Uh, get off beveling tool. Let's rotate it. It's kind of like, looks like it's connecting in there. Uh, 
And we can probably just move this section up. That. Alright, that's one piston looking good. So it has like a... Uh, Kind of like a heel kind of thing on going on here on the joint. Also, this isn't center. I just eyeball it right there, so it's more center from my perspective. From my point of view, the model is center. Oh, right, I don't have... I just remembered, I don't have my original drawing for the Dreadnought design, so we're gonna have to come up with some stuff. I don't know what happened to it, but, you know, if you move something around on Blender, it breaks really easily. Which, you know, I get that. I understand I understand that part of it. And, boop. They, oh, that's nice. Okay, now that I know that button, let's see how long I can actually remember it. And I just had a heart attack for a moment because I realized I played VR recently and usually when I do that it resets my default mic to literally be only VR. And it's a huge pain whenever I want to stream after I play VR games because I have to go through like literally like eight like the sound settings which is like through three different tabs just to get back to it. Anyways, uh, yeah so. I just had a heart attack because I didn't readjust it after it, but it looks like it uh, reset. So do I have... What's the... Yeah, so here's the original drawing. It's uh, no longer connected. I'm not sure how to even reconnect it. I think you'd have to, like, just... In I know you'd actually have to re-import re a new one, but... Eh. Let's, see. I... Let's just call it I2 because it's not center. Start naming some stuff so I can actually keep things somewhat understandable. I3, TI84, Poffin, apparently, apparently counts that whole thing as its back. I really like the, uh, the Apothecary Kelly, apothecary drill arm I made. Pretty happy with that. Might add some details of adding like uh, wheels and stuff. Let's see. Right, leg. So, we can just take this, copy it, mirror around the I actually just found out you can mirror stuff, and it's actually pretty cool. Okay, uh, maybe Y? Yep, there we go. Okay. Let's see, if it's rotated like that, so this, so this part should be up. Let's go global. I need to also find see if there's like a hotkey for that. This, it's Blender. There's probably a hotkey for everything. I don't want to, you know, be like, I'm complaining about Blender all this whole time. Like, it's a really good software. It's just they do things different compared to other modeling softwares I'm used to. Even though I've used this one the longest. But everything else just... Just... To quote the god known as Todd Howard, there's just work. Let's let's hide references for now. See if I can, there's like a there's like a certain way to like. I swear, select all faces on one side, but you can just kind of do it like this. All right, looking good. So I'm really hoping I'm streaming in the right group, because as far as I know, there's no 
blender group on 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 twitch it just kind of has like a i think there's a game called blender and that's what most blender modelers just use we'll see we'll see hopefully hopefully it's the right spot i've definitely had before i definitely remember some people being upset that i used the wrong group try not to you know sometimes i just make that mistake all right, so grab all that, extend it downwards. Let's see, I don't think those are aligned properly. Definitely looks like it's a bit off. Let's go back to global. Yes, I feel like it needs to be like further out here. Probably makes me think this would actually be pulled up. So it's like, because it's compressing, because it's getting, it's getting pulled. So let's go this. Nope. Uh, local, local. There we go. I think that's better, but now we need to make it look good here. Ooh, hold on. I might be able to work with that. Where did that line even come from? That that break shouldn't even be there. Right. There. Oh, it got pulled down. That's where it's from. Okay. If I go this, this, and I just go... Uh, I grabbed all of it. Grab, 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 grab. Oh, there's, there's, there's like a way... Dub, nope. Uh, double tap G. Does that mean... Oh, wait, I think that... Yeah, I think that did work. Sweet. That, that's nice. <coughs> Holy cow. Ah. Oh, I just... Oh, I just, like... I think the Doritos I just ate tried to kill me. Ow. Like, it wasn't like a, like, it wasn't like one of those moments where you get, like, a burp or something, but it was just straight up, like, just pure pain in my throat. Holy cow. Let's see. I, I could. I could, ex oh, what am I thinking? This is being pulled, so it actually would be extended. Go back. So, yeah, it would be... I didn't select all of it. There we go. Ah, yes. Dubious. Okay. Oh, hold on. That, I I think I I think I can see a solution here. Wireframe. I think. Yes, yeah, so this would be longer. Then we can just kind of rub it against that a bit. Then grab this. Rotate and suck it in. There we go, so it definitely looks now like it's welded in there. Gotta fix this, though. Okay, so... Let's get in. Oh, that's a lot. Do I have a... Do I have an increased selection? No, oh, that's, that's a new button. And... It's not letting me select smaller. Oh, hold on. Uh, two. There we go. Okay, I'm learning. I'm learning. Got to line up. Okay. Okay. So if I do that, 
So dragging, it seems to like dragging. Ah, never mind. Go back. So why was it? Oh, I'm an I'm an income poop. I can just go inside and get the selections like this. There we go. Yeah, I think it's like an alt shift. Uh, control shift. Control alt shift. Keep. I don't know why it's adding a radius all of a sudden. I just need like my select. Oh, hold on. If I go there. There we go. Okay. I was using that because I was using the selection tool. Got it. For some reason, it looks like it's double layered. GG and raise it up. Perfect. Oh, I'm so happy I figured that butt combo out. Oh, that makes things so much easier when you make a mistake. There we go. That's looking not too bad. I believe there's also a third piston. So it's kind of got like a rotating joint. Like next down here. Wait, hold on. That looks completely different. Where did I get this joint ID from? Because that just seems like it's plugged. This looks like it should be plugging into these instead of the ankle. Eh, that's future me problems to worry about. Let's go this. Bevel the sides, increase symmetry. to have There we go. Oh, so alt's not even used at all? Okay. Okay, that's way more complicated than it needs to be. Let me try the knife tool. I never really use it.
here. There. Here. Here. Enter. There we go. This. So let's extend all of this. This one come up a bit more. Wanted to make it look supported. Well, I like that. It makes it look a little bit more rigid. Should be using. Should be making it local. Get that. Okay, so it double tapping Z? That's interesting. Okay. Wow, I spelled that with two L's. That's a new one. I kind of like that. Kind of natural, like, wave into it. That looks good. That just like, dimple top to it. I just built a Minecraft mansion that took me 10 hours to make. Nice. Is it, uh... 
kind of mansion is it? A thousand degrees. Sounds like it's summer or something. Japanese mansion, nice. Oh yeah, you're building a uh, Japanese-style city, like a village. How's the rest of the? How's the rest of it coming along? Nice. Did you say you were doing this in a uh, survival or creative? some survival. Reminds me, I need to get back on the server. I haven't been on in like a week. I'm waiting for the seller of that 3D printer to message me back. The reason... Uh, oh yeah, so I didn't tell you this one, but this, <laughs> I'm kind of addicted to buying 3D printers right now. There's a guy selling a really nice one for a hundred bucks, and he's selling it for so cheap because he's kind of pressed for time. So, you know, I messaged him saying, hey, I'll take it. And, uh... I'm worried that he's, like... Uh, he's, he's, he's talking to someone else about selling it to. Like, yes, if I was still interested, so I think that means I'm pretty secure. But, you know, I don't want to miss out on this. Because, like, for a hundred bucks, like, usually only a hundred bucks, you can get, like, an Ender 3 refurbished, I think. Which is, like, you know, it's a... I, I love the Ender 3 models, they're very nice, but the Ender 3, just the 3 is, you know, not the best. And you can sell that, those for 100 used. So he's selling an Ender 5 Pro for 100, because he's like, hey, I need to get rid of this thing, I'm moving. So, first come, first serve. Oh, that doesn't look right. It should look like that. Majority of builds require pri prismarine bricks. I've also destroyed a whole temple. Nice. In, in Minecraft, right? Just just in Minecraft. Okay. I'm too lazy to build a guardian farm. Yeah. I can understand that. Farms do take a lot to get going, but they're really cool when you do have them going. Let's see. Do that like that. See, I, connect, I need to connect this part to it. I can kind of do like a... Uh... Oh, wait. Oh, I pulled it out a bit. Get back in there. Okay, that looks better. I'm not even sure how you make a guardian farm. Anyways, I'm exhausted from doing absolutely nothing. Bye. <laughs> Alright, bye, Rodrigo. Thanks for the updates. That is middle, that's middle. I think my the I think that maybe there's a difference. I think my leg isn't at such of a steep ang is at a steeper steeper angle than the other one is. Well, I do see I might be able to get some more surface on this. So Oop, there we go. It's so nice. Okay, that's not so nice. Why is it selecting that way? Interesting, okay. Oh, but I can chain click them now. Oh. Okay, I can't do it there. I do it... If I go click here, click here, then... Ah, okay, so that I can... I can... Nope. Okay, I gotta chain click small here. Go up one, up two maybe, and chain click, chain click, chain click, chain click, chain click, click, chain click, chain click, chain click. This is weird. I've learned more about how to use Blender right in this session than I usually have figured out. Okay, what's going on there? Why is it... Why is it stuck to that axis? Down. Oh. 
Sweet, that worked. There we go. So that gives me much more to work with now. Okay, then let's do a cut into it. Uh, just go, say, four. Four from the sides. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Oh, you can just control click? Oh, that is nice. We have been doing this so wrong. Take it. Try taking it out. Oh, come on. Why is it? Okay, take it out. Actually, hold on. Insert. Okay, hold on. Selecting the faces, so double tap. Maybe not a single tap. Yeah, that's not looking too good. What is. I can just pull it. I'll just pull it. Ooh, you know, we could probably go for like a socket joint in it, like right here. Just kind of do like a ball joint. That could work. I can just kind of rotate on that. Problem will be is like posing this if I want to do different. Well, I mean, they usually kind of just take the same stance, whatever they're doing, really. Maybe not all joint though. Needs to rotate. Rotate. A hinge could work. Try making a hinge. Bevelies. Oh, so that's what. Oh, that's why that does that. Oh, that's nice. Okay. How can I pull those down? Actually, no, I did that wrong. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Two, three, four, five, six. Eight, eight nine. I don't get why it's being so shallow. Like, it's not cutting in deeper. Crease, uh, width. I set that myself. Shape. Oh, I can invert it? Oh, that is nice. I didn't know I could do that.
That's super cool. And two index. Clamp overlap. Seems sharp. I think that might just be all we can do for it right now. Now that I'm looking at it, this joint's going to make no sense. It should be going the other way. Uh, but I don't know if people will care that much for it. I'm going to stick this out a bit. I can probably just continue to model off up oh, off of this. Shrink that down and then just go like that. Does look like a joint, so that's good. I'm curious about something. I want to check something real quick. Uh, analytics. Ah, oh, two point seven. We were so close to getting affiliate last dream. 2.7. I think the highest I've gotten is 2.8. Maybe if we can get another re uh re-raid, we might be able to get get to it. More followers. Close. We're real close to that affiliate. Once I get it, I like to maybe start doing some uh chat interactive add-ons to the stream those are always super fun i like i like seeing those yep nope yes how do i want to go about this Probably like this. And somehow there's a face in there getting distorted. Yep, that's a problem. Oh. Okay, I think that got most of it. 
I gotta do the same on this side. It's inside. It's definitely layering. Okay, that way's not gonna work. Oh, wait, hold on. I have idea. That doesn't seem to be working. Oh, okay. Scale it up. Yeah, that joint makes no sense. So I can fit these, maybe? Uh, unlikely. As long as it looks like it's being supported in there, it shouldn't be too big of a problem. Faces here. Let's switch to normal. Let's extend that up into the leg. And take this and make it look like a bracket. Oh, that's nice. How did how have I never just how am I discovering so many things on this stream? I've been using Blender for years, and I didn't know I could shift drag like that. Oh, that is nice. I'm basically like paintbrushing it right now. Let's see, that's using normals when you global. Extrude scale. There we go. again. Then shift click and then control click, control click, control click. Man, that's so easy. Some just extra detailing in the back. Ugh, shift drag. No, I. Okay, maybe not an eye. So we'll cut there and cut there. Make it look like it's a support. Like three joints, but I think this one had two. Yeah, this one has at 
The one I think I modeled it directly off of two. Yep, definitely can't use a circle for that. So. Any word from the seller yet? Oh, yay, sweet, he replied. Looks like I'm getting a new printer. Again. saying reads the thing right. I think it's like V or A. What gave us a uh, a very awesome raid last stream. Okay, how do you want to do this? Let's see. I don't think I'm going harsh enough on these uh details here. There you go. That looks more. That looks more accurate. That. Yeah. That's a reminder. I'll go pick it up tomorrow, so I won't be getting the shoe today. Timer. Or. Got to clock out Monday. I'm excited. It's the Ender 5 is a different type of printer compared to the all the other ones I have. I mean I guess it's well no it's not. It's kinda similar to a resin printer. Because its print bread moves up and down. But uh um, all my other ones are I, there's like a specific term for them. They're forward and back. Which causes the the prints to wobble and it's like a higher fail rate. So I hear with and like the style that the Ender Five is, you get less failures because the print bread, which is the literal thing, the whole like this whole model would be like shifting on, is it being jiggled back and forth every like 0.5 seconds? Because in this one, it just lowers the print bed down as it increases in size. So this the model wouldn't move at all. Right, we're doing this hip joint section now. Okay, seems easy enough. So let's start with a tube. stretching like that.
Wait, mine up? Oh, I was tracking for I'm excited. I... And I think it's a it's, so it's a pro, so I think I might actually have a bigger print bed on. Let me, let me double check that. Ender five five pro print bed compared to Ender three. Okay, differences. Actually, I, I can actually show it. It's a pet. It's a support independent journalism. No, thank you. I like my ad blockers. Thank you very much. Yeah, so here's the... Uh... Holy cow, do all of you block ad blocks now? Let's see. Between me two, you need to build area platform. Do you want a bed slinger like the bed under three? Okay, so the Ender 3 is the best option for people who don't need to print parts over 250 millimeters, which I print things very big. In height, the Ender 5 is more stable at higher print speeds because it's... Ooh, okay, so I get a higher print speed. It also has a print height 30 millimeters, which is 20 cent taller. Okay, so it is vertically bigger. It's more stable. I'm getting it for way cheaper than I got my Ender 3s. Uh, the other three is stable between print speeds or uh, specifications. Okay, so build volume. So they, they do print the same length and width, but not height. Okay. But the, the stability is the thing I'm really looking forward to on this thing. Same voltage usage. Machine size. It is... It is quite bigger. Ooh, the Mach... I don't know what that actually means. I'm just going to sound like I know it is. Ooh, the Mach 10 hot end extruder. Yes, build volume, print speed. Actually print at a higher speed because of its cubic shape. The gantry is the X. The under three is built with less material, making it more wobbly. It moves downward during the job. It stays at the top, printing machine design. Yeah. Price... See, pricing for these machines constantly fluctuates, but you can normally pick up an Ender 3 for around $200. The Ender 5 is 50% more expensive, $300. And I got the pro version for $100. Man, I love Facebook Market. I just wish it wouldn't keep suggesting male lingerie towards me. It That and Timu. Oh, Temu? Timu? You know, I hear a thousand ads for that, for that website. It's basically the new Wish. They just really don't quit with that. It's like... <laughs> no joke, they legitimately... Like, look, I know I wear a maid dress on stream, but that's for profit, all right? But, like, they legitimately have started advertising male... male... uh, maid outfits for me. <laughs> I'm like, let's, first off, like, how? How would it, like, think to consider that? Explain that one, Mr. Zuck. Oh, right, shift. Whoa, how did I... Uh-oh. That was new. Let's see, that's, uh... Is this centered at all? I can't tell. Uh... E... Kinda. It's a... It's decently centered. back on and I'm gonna do some sets. I'm really looking forward to printing this. I could probably actually put this... 
drawing. Edit mode. There we go. Uh, X. There we go. There we go. Now it's perfectly in the center. Let's see, this needs to go down a little bit. Get two circles on there. Dun, 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 dun. Nice, nice. And let's go here and then just wait. Oh, so. Box or something on this leg here. Just off shoot it like that. Do do do. Picking a dreadnought. Picking this painting. Okay. There we go. Okay, so let's do the wiring between the two legs. I kind of want to make after this, when I finish it, I kind of want to make like a super heavy duty dread like I want to see dreadnought. I want to see how ridiculous I can make it look. Like how many, how many guns can I strap to this thing? It'd be probably a different design. But maybe I'll go like a Prime Mars Dreadnought. I think they're bigger. So let's try a curve. A I'm not sure I even know how to pronounce these curves. Beisner, Beisner. I just know it's currently facing the wrong way. On. Uh, you guys need to disappear so I can actually see. Up and like that. I'm not even sure how that's gonna work. 180. 
that's a zero. Zero. Okay, there we go. Now we have something to actually work with here. Down. Can I go up and over the leg? Rotate. Let's see if I can remember actually how to do this. There's a way to... Geometry... So that's the extrude we need. Path active. An offset. So extrude makes it a sheet. We need something that makes it... Oh, round. There we go, that's how you make a wire. Fill caps. There we go. They want to go thicker because it's like a very heavy duty cable. Okay, let's just copy it. And move it up. Let's see, there should be a object. How would I slice this? Start and end mapping, path resolution. I need to make the ridges into it. I don't remember how to do that. It's not seeing it as a model yet. Factor. Oh! Ooh, that's nice. Okay, so I can... Oh, that's very nice. Okay. Path animation, active spline, key shapes. Custom properties, maybe? Nope. Offset. Okay, so that puts it outward. I wonder if I do a round and extrude. Ah, okay. Level object profile. So I did this. I'm pretty sure I just found out how they make a certain candy star shape. How, how extreme can I make this go? Can I make a square out of this? Interesting, interesting. I go higher resolution, can I? Now it doesn't look like I can do that. Tilt, radius, shear. That doesn't seem to work. I uh... Ooh, wait hold on, I think I I think I know how. Okay, so if I go. That's not it. Let's see, how can I... I had an idea, but I don't think it's gonna work. That's not letting me click the end cap as an actual face. These are called visor curve. Let's see. How to turn by visor curve into actual object. Okay, convert curve into a mesh object. In this tutorial, but first let us focus on the open type curve here. Now, go to the add menu, go to curve, and add one circle. We need to reduce its size. Press S on your keyboard to resize, then type point .3, and then hit enter. Perfect. And add a subdivision surface modifier. 
Then, you can still edit, you can still edit its profile. Once it is fine, this bevel object. Select the curve, then go to the object menu and convert it into a mesh object. Oh, wait, hold on. So, click here in object mode, object convert mesh. There we go. Okay. Can I still edit it though? No, it doesn't look like it. So you have to be careful then, I guess. Make sure that comes out right. So let's go wireframe. Edit mode, this, that. All oh, the drag, I love the dragging. Okay, this might be a little bit difficult. Scaling won't work. Uh, what if I... Let's see. Scale, scale. Extrude, scale, scale. They're all going in, they'll like leaving it for some reason. Ah, yes, exactly what I need. Scaling won't work. I'm not sure why it's making that weird lighting. I mean, that kind of looks like a wire, but it's very gnarled. Tabbing doesn't do that. Uh, if I do them individually. That might just be the way I do it. There we go. Looks a little weird. I'm not sure what's going on with that mesh, but as long as it works, it works.
normal. There we go. Yeah, that's one wire down. See, I think we, from this point, it's just uh, the details and then the left arm. I think I made a mistake. Yeah, one of these goes way lower. Let's just swap these. Then edit this one. Not uh, down here. Like that, and then do it thicker. Object convert to mesh. I don't know how I keep selecting getting into like a line mode. Nice. 
Alright, looking good. Needs these rivets on the sides. They all seem to have the rivets. Problem is, I'm not sure how to select that many of them consistently. So, I'm gonna think I'll attempt to do an array. Let's see, so. Mesh. Mesh. Cube. Oh, where did the cube go? This there. There we go. So now it should be aligned up with that face and centered on that spot, I think. No, actually, uh, C, E, E. Center it completely on the circle. Line up mode. There. Okay, let's see if I can do this. So, I have the object. We're going to... Modifiers Array. Maybe make it spiral somehow. Apps, constant offset. That is the side to side, so that stays zero. In the back. We need rotation into this. Constant offset. Object offset. I go like this and then select this. That do anything. Bees. How can I, uh, let's see. Blender Spiral Array. Array Modifier Spiral. I need like a... Let's see. Not a... Sp oh, a spiral goes up. I need a... S I need like a circle. Something like that. In this tutorial, I will show you how. So I'm now going to click so over my five degrees, and then I could also hit negative to root to get small and small. So now I could move this around, I could move it up to the axis, and to the it's going to affect the number of petals. So that is the more going through each other. So if I want to make the petals farther away, I could just move the empty up that to zero and then if I go here to the object offset I could open this up I could click on the eyedropper and I could select this empty object that I've added right here so then what I could do is I could select the empty and I could rotate the empty and you can see that's going to rotate around and then if I click back on the pedals I could like turn up the count here so I can make much more okay so I need an object in the center of this Shift A, empty. Okay, then. Wish there was a quick way to like just, uh, copy and paste everything over to this.
This should be able to get me to... Nope, I just changed its name. Station. Come on, actually select it, please. Thank you. Okay. So now, if I click on this, I should be able to set the object offset to empty and if I rotate empty looking for but kind of cool it's like oh hold on i think I, I think i know why i go to, back to here oh okay that made it worse uh go back click the object set the countdown to like six and zero i go into Empty and rotate. Interesting. Okay, so it might be. There we go. It was rotating on the wrong axis. Let's get it to like right there. Delete the array. Array. I click on the empty. Let's set it to 12. So go on empty. Try eight. Empty, rotate. It's not like getting enough bottom. very rude why is it skipping i can't un can't undo past certain points okay so delete the array the empty oh hold on i think i see the problem the empty got rotated at some point so it's off so that's why we're getting some problems Okay, so go like that, click that, click on modifiers, array, object offset, set that to zero, and select the object to array around to that, and then we select the empty, rotate it. There's the money. Okay, let's try a nine. It's not like going on the back. They're not digging into the side. Let's try 
but oh god, I can just lock those two. Then rotate it on its local Y. Cylinder. Try six. Empty. Now that looks very wrong. Okay, something, something ain't going right here. I think maybe one of the other ones is what it's actually supposed to be. Okay, that's not working either. Okay, so that kind of worked. Then it makes, it makes them off the other ones, which is what I'm not understanding. Why is it so tight always in the front? I see it's like it's it's really clumped up here, but then there's just random ones in the back. Oh wait. I Okay. There we go. I think we Nope, it's it's off again. Z rotate. Gotta find the sweet spot, I guess. Like that. Oh, okay, I think we got it. There we go. Okay. Looking good. Let's see, is there any other... Uh... There's a lot of, like, chassis details we'll have to add in later. But as opposed to main shape, I think this is pretty good. Now we need to do the grippy arm. I think my I do have those in my references, I believe. Let's pull these in two. Why can't I uh why can't I drag these? Can't move those. Okay, well that's a new problem. And uh, that's a not current problem I'll deal with. So let's start with copying the shoulder. Mirror across the X. Nope. Mirror across the Y. There we go. What's X value? There we go, there we go. Let's see, are they, wait, are the shoulders actually different? I don't know, they're kind of the same. This one has more of like a shielded side and then this one just has like a little chip, I call it, like a slant coming off the bottom. Do that. Rude. And grab. Push. As for the front, yeah, I'm not sure if I'm going to get like that grail kind of uh, shingle look. Ooh, apparently I just got a match on a dating service. Neat. Yeah, that turns out. It's it's a pretty big hand. Mesh cylinder.
Why do I keep getting on edges? I don't know why I keep selecting edges. Ooh, wait, I think I know exactly how to do that pattern. I go here. Select. I need to select all of these faces. Stop going on line mode. On us. Uh, I'm to gauge the ultimate power of random clicking. Okay, that worked. Just keep zigzagging like that, or I can... That... I go... Ins... Double tap insert. There we go, and I go like that, and then extrude scale up. So there's a bit more, because it's, it's already all sliced up. I think that should work. And then we need to add that so ring for the fingers. center hole Dude. and there we go one hand ready for beep bopping and I can just I can probably actually copy one of the toes and then just kind of like shape it to be the right scale
Let's see. Um, normal. Oh, did I? Uh, I think I posted. Oh no, it's its own thing. Okay, that's a relief. Oh well, that's a that's a new thing. Neat. Can't see. Where's the normal? Okay, there. I shrink it. That size. On that size. Then add a bit more thickness to the front. Now we have to actually find a good way to make sure it's aligned on here. Okay. It, it might have a middle orientation. I like this. And rotate like that. Fingers overlap? No, that's pretty flush. We might actually want to do a go here, add a line, then grab said line, pull it up so it gets, gives it a kind of like a curved edge to it. I'll do that on the inside too if I can. Oh, I've reached the zoom in point, so click. There we go. So happy I figured that out. Well, I guess you say I'm happy Google told me how to do that. I need to shrink this ring. This, make sure we get all of it. Switch up to face select. There we go, I think that looks better. That back into place. I wanna add a bend to the fingers. That wireframe. Those aren't. Zero. Zero. There we go. And select it through doing that. This. A lot thinner.
There we go. It looks a bit more robotic. I think I'm actually gonna make the like the funter part of it. I forgot to do there real quick. So I can see. It's a little bit better. I think, we could, I think we can do better, though. Those, those look pretty blocky. And I think it might be worth actually just... Uh, let's put this off to the side. I think it might just be worth making a new one. Mesh. There. Oh, no. Go back. Don't want to move it in object mode, in edit mode. There we go. That should work. Yeah. Okay, now we gotta rotate. Scale. Touches there and touches there, so grab these, split it in half. Hard, it's hard to tell with this drawing because it's like it looks flat, but also looks rounded at the same time. So I'm not really sure how to quite achieve that look right now. I can do it this way. Wait, no, go back. That, add those. bottom and we're gonna try it lush There we go. Okay, and then it has like a sh gets shallower. So let's go. All these let's scale. Definitely still needs to be wider though. I don't know why I'm struggling so much with this one shape. Let's see. Uh, increase. That. Turn this back on. We're getting there, we're getting there. A little bit. We go. Grab that. Up. Tap. 
Double tap. Extrude. Scale. Extrude. And shrink. There we go. And I can adjust this depending on how I want it to how graspy I want him to look. That looks better than yeah, that looks better than this toe shape I was going for, so let's just get rid of that one. So let's rename this to finger. Can I? Dun, dun, dun. I think I can take some creative liberty with the elbow joint, because I can't really see anything past this. Oh, it does look like there's like a sheet of metal that goes in the way. And there is definitely like different designs, like we can go inner or we can go more this. I'm kind of going for more open palm hole thingy. That. It will it'll definitely will need a bolter on it somewhere. Give it an actual weapon. Probably mount it on the bottom. Let's grab a shift a cube. Front. Keeps going to the local. Ah, oh, don't tell me it's and it's made on the same object. All right, gotta delete that. Okay, hopefully it's gone now. Shift A, mesh, cube. Keep pushing T, that's why I'm getting that problem. And now we're going to try a new trick that we recently learned. So we're going to grab that edge. We're going to bevel it. And then... Segments. And now we need to reverse it. Ah, oh, that is... That makes things so easy. I think I went a little bit too overboard though with that, so it's probably something like that. Segments, then reverse it.
Hmm. I'm starting to think maybe it's too long. Normalize. It can't make up its mind. There we go. There we go. But, no. It's definitely not global. Normal. Ah, <sighs> come on. I don't get how it gets how it keeps having this problem though. Just like it doesn't like, this is just still a cylinder, so I don't know why it's not able to localize. Alright, it's left me no choice to just go zero zero zero. Maybe that fixed? Nope. Set. I shrink this. Close though, I think I'm just gonna have to eyeball it. Okay, come on. We got 30 seconds before this dream ends at two hours, so. I don't know if we're gonna do it. If I set. Maybe that'll fix it. It's still, it's still doing this. Like, I don't know why it's doing that when it's just should it just be compressing downward. At eight seconds. I guess I can just go for the old. Oh, I found solid. Edit. Eh. Try that instead. Perfect timing. We just hit two hours. So I'll call the stream there. Thank you very much for stopping by. Yo, 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 yo. Oh, no, you I'll see you next time. Suck a uh, yeah. pay me, but you never paid me, never. Oh, no, you didn't. Payback is a coming. You will be running forever. Oh, no, you didn't. Until I get my vengeance, I will never end this mayhem. Oh, no, you didn't. I'm a mercenary, you ain't got a prayer, you owe me.